Virginia Flaherty, and this is my husband. I'm John <laughs> Flaherty, and together we run uh, Central Coast Outdoors. Uh, do you remember when we came out here on Christmas morning and we had uh, Kinley, our daughter, and the dogs, and we had everybody in kayaks and it was a really cold day, and we saw all of those amazing flocks of sandpipers doing their banking off in the distance and their white flashes. And Do you remember that? Yeah, in and around Morro Bay, there uh, are often up to 200 different species of birds uh, in the wintertime that are here. And it's, uh, it's a major uh, bird watching hotspot, international hotspot. <laughs> you know, we were, we were talking about you know, the surprises and the things that you see on the bay. And sometimes when a wildlife comes up, particularly the marine mammals, sea lions or harbor seals, they'll pop up really close to the boat and they'll just look at you. <laughs> and it's the darndest thing. It's like you're, it's almost like you're in their home and they're saying, Hello, visitor. Hmm. What are you doing here? And you go, hi. Those, those big black liquidy eyes. Yeah. You definitely have that feeling of connection. They probably don't, but you, you do. <laughs> They're wondering, who is this person in this plastic thing again? Yeah. Into my house. Uh, the, the bay is just filled with so many interesting things. One of the things that I really like is that we have active uh, oyster farming uh, going on out in the bay. And uh, the two organizations that are out there, we know quite a bit about the Grassy Bar Oyster Company. George uh, Trevelyan, I believe is his name, is out there. And he is a wealth of information. I've gone to talks that he's done. Every time we do tours and he's out there, we stop over um, at the oyster farm and listen to what he has to say. And it, always, it never ceases to amaze me, no matter how deep he's got his hands in the muck or doing whatever, He's going to stop and take the time and explain and answer any questions. And he's also been known to offer oysters uh, to some of our clients on the tour. Uh, we never expect it, and I never ask, uh, but sometimes if he's in the appropriate mood, um, he will. But it's, it's really interesting that you can have a productive aquaculture situation like that mixed in with a nationally recognized estuary and all this incredible wildlife. It just, it makes it that much more, you know, rich um, and diverse, I think. To, to really sum up, for me, I think that in such a small area, it is incredible what you see here in Morro Bay. And I think I just have to go back to the fact that there's so much wildlife here. It is so diverse. I've really now I've been I've traveled all over the world, as has Virginia, and it's incredibly rare to find this combination. Not only culturally with the small towns, but everything else, the wildlife, the changing situation, and just what you can see and do here. It's just really, to me, an incredibly unique and special place. And I think one of the great things about this area is that because it's kind of a it's a it hasn't quite been discovered or it's just being discovered by People from the Bay Area and people from LA and tourists from Europe are starting to come here. So it's a relatively new discovery in California. And because it's taken so long, people have learned to appreciate places like this. And we aren't getting that overdevelopment that they're getting in some other places that once may have looked like this.